ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Hey guys, Kakarot1970 again. Once again, with some more special new loot provided to me by my favorite online hobby store, Hobbling Japan. And the first one I got this time around is the latest and greatest Master Grade, the Master Grade Jin. From the moment they announced this thing, I just knew that I had to go out and get it. Like, out of all of the Reinterpretations of the Zaku, I think this really is my favorite. The only kind of exception would be what you consider the Leo to be, because its model number is a reference to the Zaku, but I don't really consider the Zaku,、uh, I don't really consider the Leo to be Zaku inspired, as opposed to a beautiful mono eye monstrosity like this thing. And also, the redesign of the Master Grade is really cool and sleek looking. And unlike the Zaku Warrior redesign, which I wasn't completely on board with because it did significantly change the mobile suit, I know for a lot of people、um, it did change it for the better. The Jin, I love what they did with this thing. And they also gave it a few cool Master Grade additional features along the way. The only bad thing I can really say about this is that I would have loved it if this thing came with more weapons. Because, you know, the Jin uses a lot of different weapons in the show, and it just comes with its standard heavy machine gun, heavy blade, and then also those missile launchers that go onto the legs. And it comes with like a bazooka, it has an ion cannon, it has those giant missiles, the D equipment. And many other weapons that it can use. So I totally wouldn't have minded paying a bit more for some extra weapons, which I'm probably g o n n a be able to do through P Bandai at some point in the future. Let's face it, P Bandai at this point has just become an, a, well, I want to say accepted, but just Something that we've learned to cope with、um, in this current day and age. The second new release, then, that I got this time around the Dagger L. Again, just as with the Jin here, as soon as they announced it, I knew that I didn't just have to get one of them, but I immediately went out and got three of them. One through this package, and then I immediately bought two extra because this is just one of those model kits that you can't just buy one of. From what I've seen from the promotional pictures, it's going to be a great little model kit for a really good price. It might not come with a striker pack attached to it as is, but it does have striker pack compatibility and as a base model. This is looking pretty damn good, and from what I've seen, it's going to be better than the Wyndham, which is the exact opposite of how things were in the show. And by now, you know how the drill goes. In these special unboxings, I always get three model kits, and I always have like a list of things that, yeah, you can send me this or that or that. And all the way at the bottom of the list this time was the real great Zeta Gundam. Now, I didn't actually expect to get this because it was at the bottom of the list that I was like, yeah, you can send me those.、Uh, but yeah, it seems like Hobbling Japan was like, good luck, my man. Either that or they have. Faith in my abilities to build this thing and not have it shatter in a million pieces. Although,、um, after having successfully built the real great Zaku 2, which apparently was a nightmare for a lot of people, too, I'm carefully optimistic.、Um, I I'm sure those words will come back to haunt me, as I am expecting this thing to be quite fragile, but at the same time, as long as I'm careful, things should be okay, I hope. Anyways, wish me luck in the comments down below for when I'm going to be building this thing. <laughs>、um, 
as you can probably imagine, I'm keeping the best for last, shall we say. And I'm now going to decide whether I go with the dagger first or with the gin first, because honestly, both are looking pretty damn appealing at this moment. Anyways, if you want to get any one of these kits, there are links down below. As always, a big thank you to the Patreon supporters. I hope Everyone watching has a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow with an unboxing of either the dagger or the gin.